ask you about the Buckner uh, play. It was the sixth game. It wasn't game seven. You had a, you had a, I don't know what you hit that series, but it was close to 300. Uh, and I know you had a home run in that series. You had a home run in, the, in Cincinnati, uh, right? Am I correct? Yeah, I had two home runs in in in, in, in the Mets series. Yeah. I mean, so you were uh, once again very productive in the postseason, but you were the only guy that. When Jack and I talked to you in spring training, I, I was fascinated by this. On the Buckner play, and you can speak to him as an individual because you, you when he threw out the first ball a couple of years ago in opening opening day last year, you were the one that caught him. Yeah. But you were in right field and had a very unique view of that of that play. Tell us, you know, no one's ever really heard from you as to what it looked like. Maybe it didn't look any different to you than it did to everybody else, but you were the only person that had that view. First of all, Bill Buckner is a good friend of mine, and, and uh, but, you know, I saw it the same way he saw it. And if you really saw the field, the, the they, they call it the foul line, it should be the fair line. <laughs> or the foul pole, it should be the fair pole, but um, the foul line that ran along from home past first base to the, the outfield grass uh, was actually dug out. I mean, it was about that far underneath the, uh, the dirt, I mean, below the dirt. So it was like a, a channel. Um, and I, I don't know if that ball hit that, but I know that he was aware of that. Um, there were, there were a number of things that happened still that I, I question today. I mean, uh, why didn't we bring Bob Stanley in to throw that last inning? Bob Stanley was our best reliever through that whole, I want to say something to McNamara, and I could, you know, I mean, I, I had a rapport with him to where I could say anything to him. He might disagree, but I could say it to him because Chiraldi had not been out and not gone past two innings all year. So that would have been his third inning. And uh, Stanley was our best reliever and just as nasty as he could be with his sinker and everything. Uh, so you bring Stanley in in that situation. We give up the hits and you're, you want me to talk about Buckner, but there's so many things that happened before that. It's two outs, two strikes, nobody on. And I still cannot look at those, those films today. What a moment. Yeah.